Hello Lakewood Ranch viewers. Well, in today's video, we're gonna cover a topic of two different neighborhoods. One is Country Club East, and the other one is the Country Club at Lakewood Ranch. Now, the Country Club at Lakewood Ranch is also known as Country Club West, or some people call it Lakewood Ranch Golf and Country Club. But it is actually a neighbor a neighborhood and the country club membership is optional so there is com some confusion there and today we're going to straighten all of that out compare the two neighborhoods and see if one of them might be right for you so if that's of interest stick around i have all the information coming right up hello it's mark baymig michael saunders and company and in this channel living in lakewood ranch we cover all the areas around lakewood ranch and today we're going to hone in on the Lakewood Ranch Country Club, also known as Country Club West, and then Country Club East. They're kind of sister neighborhoods, so that's why we uh, usually have a comparison between the two of those. And the reason one is East and one is West is because Lorraine Road runs north and south and splits the two neighborhoods. So Country Club East, of course, is east of Lorraine Road and Lakewood Ranch Country Club, or Country Club West is west of Lorraine Road. So the first one to be built was Lakewood Ranch Country Club. Now it is home to the Lakewood Ranch Golf and Country Club which has three golf courses, uh, several pickleball courts, a nice Olympic sized pool, a huge weight room, uh, 20 clay tennis courts, uh, a clubhouse uh, in Country Club West and a clubhouse in Country Club East and one of those golf courses is in Country Club East. So they are sister neighborhoods and the Country Club maintains the two clubhouses, uh, the amenities for the tennis and the pickleball and also the golf. So, but when we break it down into the neighborhoods themselves, they're both gated communities. So I'm a, I'm a fan of a gated community in some ways, um, in some ways not. But the thing about a gated community is the only thing it really does is just makes the car stop while it enters the neighborhood. And during that time, they're just recording the license plates via the cameras that are there so that if there's any issues, they can just go back and look at who came into the neighborhood. So I guess that is some type of a security feature uh, for both of these uh, gated communities here inside of Lakewood Ranch. But in the golf club, in Lakewood Ranch Golf and Country Club, there is a total of 3,252 homes. Um, all of those are single family homes, villas, and then there's some condos that are spread around the periphery uh, for Lakewood Ranch Country Club. There are no real amenities because when Lakewood Ranch Country Club got started back in around 2000, um, the, the pools and all of that kind of thing was not part of the subdivisions. Now, if any of you have watched this channel for very long, you know that I've talked about Greenbrook and Summerfield. Both of those communities were the original communities in Lakewood Ranch, and neither one of those has any real amenities, no pools, but they do have parks that are associated inside of those communities. Those parks have dog parks, some of them have basketball courts, a little skating rink, uh, a lot of walking trails. So they have park systems that are set up inside the Summerfield and also in Greenbrook. But when you get into Lakewood Ranch Country Club, there's not uh, a bunch of amenities that come as part of being an owner of a property in the, in the Country Club. So if you want to be a member, then you would have to join Lakewood Ranch Golf and Country Club in order to have access to the pool and the golf if you wanted golf, because they have several different memberships. They have a social, then they have a fitness tennis, and then they have the golf. So, Anyway, more about the neighborhoods themselves. As you can see here, Lakewood Ranch uh, Country Club is beautiful. It has some great foliage. And because the neighborhood is approaching, what is this, 23 years old, um, it, the, the trees in here are just magnificent. Uh, the homes are beautiful. So what I did was I wanted to compare the two neighborhoods and just give you an idea of what is selling in both of these neighborhoods. So as of today, today is May the 4th, 2023, 24 homes are for sale in the Country Club right now. The smallest one is a 2-2. It is 1,652 square feet. It is a villa and it's listed at 599,000. And then the most expensive is a five bedroom, five and a half bath home. And it is 6,600 square feet. And it's listed at 4,995,000. So you can see there's quite a swing. There's quite a variety of homes here inside uh, the gates of Lakewood Ranch. Country Club. What about the last six months sales in here? What's the history look like? Well, over the last six months, there was um, 
a total of 55 homes sold over the last six months. The smallest was a 2-2 two -two villa, 1,550 square feet. It sold at 475, and the largest one was a four-bedroom, four-bath with two half-baths, and it sold for 2.8 million. Of those sales, 26 were mortgage and 29 were cash. So we're still a heavily uh, cash buyer market here in Lakewood Ranch. Now, if we switch over to Country Club East, Country Club East, the homes are a little bit newer. Um, they were built probably from 2012 on, and they were completed in 2020. So there are no more new homes to be bought in either one of these neighborhoods. But after Country Club West got finished, then they started on Country Club East, and that's well, I, like I said, that houses the, the lodge and the other golf course at Country Club East. So as far as sales, as far as sales are concerned, there's 1,352 homes and of which 260 of those are single family homes, 92 of those are condos. So you can see it's about half the size of what Country Club West is. They have three amenity pools, they have meeting rooms, a gym, gated community that hosts one of the uh, Lakewood Ranch uh, Country Club golf courses, and it has the restaurant and the pro shop and the driving range as well inside the gates at Country Club East. That is part of the membership if you decided to join Lakewood Ranch Country Club. Now, as of today, 5-4 of 23, the, the number of active properties on the, on the market right now is only six. Uh, there's a 3-2 condo, 2,376 square feet for 850,000, and there's a 4-3 home that is 4,200 square feet on the market for 2.499 million. So over the last six months, there's been fewer sales, of course, because there's been a fewer number of homes from which to choose from. There was a 3-2 condo with 1,748 square feet, and it sold for $580,000. And then there was a three-bedroom, four-and-a-half bath home, 3,182 square feet, that sold for $2.3 million. Now we have a wider range of home prices in Country Club West. Country Club East, the margins are a little narrower because the homes are a little smaller. There's not many homes that are 4,000 and above square feet. There's a few in uh, Country Club East, but not a lot. Both of them gated communities. Both of them can be part of Lakewood Ranch uh, Golf and Country Club membership if you decide to join. So inside the gates at Country Club West, there's actually three golf courses. One of them is public which is the Legacy Golf Course, which is right on your right as you pull in uh, to the main gate. So that is a public course. Then inside the gates, when you get on up to the clubhouse, there's two more golf courses. And then there's another golf course in Country Club East. So that comprises the three that are part of the membership package. Right now, the memberships are on hold as far as the social and the golf. Uh, last I heard, there was a few of the fitness tennis social memberships that are available. And I'll put a link down in the description below if you're interested in getting connected on the um, country club information uh, for joining there as far as being a member at uh, the country club. But if you go into Country Club East, you're already going to have uh, three pools to choose from. There is a little workout center, uh, there's dog park, uh, event lawn, so uh, Country Club East has a lot to offer. The homes are newer, but the foliage is not as thick and big as it is in Country Club West because it's just not as old. Every month I put out a market update video, so what's going on here in Lakewood Ranch, so you can get an idea of what the prices are, are they up, are they down, are we stable? So I'm gonna put a link to one of those videos here for the latest market update, but if you look in around the 12th or 13th of each month, that's usually when I try and get it uploaded because I don't get all the data back until that time for uh, doing the market update. How about the size of this alligator? When I was in doing this video in the Country Club, and I saw this, I had to turn around and come back. He was on the sidewalk to begin with, and when I turned around and came back, he'd already moved up under the, uh, 
up under the shade of those shade trees. But I would have hated to have been walking and not seen him and then all of a sudden come up on him. He, he, was, he was pretty big. Uh, I don't know if you know it or not, but alligators have to have their body temperature at 86 degrees to be able to digest food. And he's probably, he was probably out there sunning and now he's back up under these uh, shade bushes and he's probably heading to the water in one of these ponds now. But I thought he was just amazing. What a big fella this guy is. So I hope you got value out of this video and learned a little bit about the difference between Country Club East and Country Club West here in Lakewood Ranch. And if I can be of service, if you're looking to either sell or buy a home here in our area, I'll put a link below for that as well so that you can reach out. Mark Bamig, Michael Saunders and Company.